Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. For Homeschool Help today, we are going to talk about why it tends to be breezier near the coast or at the beach. So for today, taking a live look off of our runaway island beachfront camera, and we're going to see gorgeous gulf waters. It's ever so calm today. Almost looks like glass. I've been staring at all of our beachfront cameras throughout the morning. Um, so why is that? Well, it all comes down to wind and because of that different densities and air masses. But let's start with wind. So let's check out on our wind speeds this morning and into the afternoon. Note over land and over the gulf, your winds are either around or less than five miles per hour so it is extremely calm at the surface so as those wind speeds intensify your gulf the bays those are going to also kick up and ramp up it's all based on those wind speeds so for today those calm winds it's going to reflect very very calm waters and you'll see as we take you through this for the most part those winds are staying at around five miles per hour all the way through Saturday night so that means that in terms of your marine forecast boating forecasts those seas are going to stay less than a foot or around that so mostly smooth it'll be beautiful to admire from a distance because obviously all of us are going to kind of be cooped up inside the next couple of days but wanted to talk about why you'll see once those winds do kick up those conditions aren't necessarily always uh, reflected for those inland communities. So this is an example for Saturday night. Those winds pick up just a little bit. They're around 10 miles per hour over the Gulf, still 10 miles per hour over some coastal spots there. You're seeing Panama City, Destin, and then take a, a look at Mariana, Dufiniac Springs, Bluntstown. Those are still calm at around two miles per hour, up to five miles per hour. So why is that? Well, for starters, it has to do with land friction. If you think about it, there's nothing really blocking wind from moving freely over the Gulf. It's open water, and once you get into inland spots or even just barely past the coastline, you're starting to see trees, buildings. So there are things interfering with the free movement of that wind. And this is all typically, of course, there are different setups uh, where that could be inverted, but generally speaking, land friction is going to help those Gulf water speeds stay up and we're gonna see those winds kind of die out as they try to push further and further inland. And also, however, in summertime, when a lot of people are taking advantage of the beach and hopefully we can do that ourselves this summer, um, it also has to do with sea breeze. So we've talked about sea breeze in another homeschool uh, help video, so I'm not gonna dive too far into it, but feel free to go check that one out if you wanna understand sea breeze. But basically, say we have temperatures that start off fairly equal over the Gulf and over land. That is correct until the afternoon. The land will heat up far faster than how the Gulf waters will heat up because it's a huge body of water, so it takes longer. So for example, the temperature over the land is going to be running about 10 degrees above what the temperature over the water is. That's very different densities in air mass because warm air is less dense. So as you see daytime heating, that less dense air is going to rise. That cool, denser air is going to sink over the water. And then what happens is that cooler air is going to rush inland. And so by the time we talked about land friction and things of that nature, by the time it tries to get inland, it's dealing with land friction. So right near the coastline, you're seeing that sea breeze system set up and you are feeling that difference and those dense pockets rushing in. So you're also dealing with sea breeze, land friction, but in general, of course, we always prefer for those winds to stay calm. That would reflect calm seas, calm gulf, and that is why it tends to be a little bit breezier at the coast when you're at the beach. Hopefully you can do that this summer and why it's also so calm today and why it's so wonderful to look at from a distance uh, because those winds at the surface are incredibly calm.